as you will be able to see, progress has been made on Simon's very large IV cam. Fudge is not far off finished on the cab, are you? Uh huh. Yeah. Got Roger, about a day's more. worth of slight adaptions left to do. Yeah. I have rejuvenated and made shiny. Painted. Well, it's a bit more than painted. So far, we have had a timing chain. They have seen us do that. Mm -hmm. We have had all this front suspension apart because most of it was rubbish. Mm -hmm. So we've had new rubber boots, track rod ends, discs, wheel bearing check, caliper overhaul and paint. New discs, obviously, and new pads. New brake pipes because they all broke. Yeah. New anti-roll bar bushes and bolts that hold them all together because they were looking a bit sick. Yeah. We have chiselled all of the um, rust off front to back. Torsion bar is obviously fitted. Well, I am going for the last hub chuck on on that side this morning. Then I can put it on its wheels. Yes. Because I've cleaned and painted all the front in here, including the radiator mounting brackets. I have a few more to rejuvenate on down there. Mm -hmm. But what I want to do is pick this up first with some wheels on it, scooch it out there and then steam the last of the gook off of the bottom of the sump, mm -hmm. lift it right up, check for the under the misses, because there will be misses on the bottom and anything that needs scraping off. Yeah. So if we start from the back, we have had springs. They were a bit of an arse. Yeah, big bulky disc, springs. Disc pads, still got to put, the disc pads were done just before it came off the road, but we didn't have the brake backs, because Iveco got them wrong. So they've now given me the brake backs, which are right but it means I've taken all back off again. <laughs> so I've got to pull the, the calipers, the brakes, the hubs. Well, that shouldn't be terrible. Put some brake backs in the back. I have fitted new. Oh, you've put new, new brake Oh brakes yeah, on. I sheared all the bolts off for those. Don't you worry, I drill all the holes out and then I have doubly painted them to make sure they don't evaporate like normal. Mm -hmm. So we're getting the stage where she's looking fairly posh. I think we need to swing the camera around and then we can we can look at this cab, can't we? Yay. Yes. So you will see this Mark 3 Iveco cab now disguised as a Mark 4 slash Mark 5 Iveco cab. Yes. So it's had a little bit more than expected because it was a bit more rusty in a few places, but it definitely was yeah, much better. It's better than what, anything was going to what be. What was going on with that there, one? Because the floors and most of it's mint. So it, it's, it's had an inner and an outer sill. Yep. So you, beautiful. Look at that. That's, that's all there. So new outer sill. Um, that was a panel, wasn't it? And yep. then the inner was made. Fabricated the inner. So we have sh poshed up and repaired any of the trouble on the inner wings in here and a tiny hole in front of the cab floor. We have cut the entire outer wing off and stitched, inner wing, sorry, off and stitched it on. We've also cut the sections of the windscreen post out and put them in, haven't you? Not yeah. that you'd ever know they were done. And then as you will see, this 65C18 wing fits lovely on here. That's all test fitted. So we've just got to do that bit. That bit's the last bit over there, isn't on it? On that bit. So yeah, it's and then, cutty cutty. And then you will see this in a minute. We are going to make this Rosso Marinello Rouge. Red. Or, um, you would have thought that Rosso might actually be red anyway. Yeah. So I don't know why the paint is called Rosso Marinello Red. Sounds like a Formula One driver. It does, yes. Yeah, Rosso yeah, Farrell. We've got Farrell. a um, Rosso from Rosso for Marinello. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He sounds like he could drive a Formula One car, didn't he? He does. Yeah, actually, he's a tin of paint. <laughs> Mind you, we could start an argument there, but we're not. Let's not upset all the Formula One fans. No. No, no. So what we're going to have to do next is we are to the point where this is going to need to be... I'll have to move these hetras again. We're going to need to lift this out of here or wheelie it out of here. Mm-hmm. Strip the last of the plastics off of it. Yeah. Because we're professional balls, we decided that perhaps we really ought to leave Simon with green in the doorsteps and the white floor. I think he'd, I think that. I think he'd, pre funky. he'd appreciate. Yeah. Having yeah. A multicolored cab. And when we go to paint it, I reckon we should mask this little dent area here where it's got the touch up. Just leave. And that, just leave, leave that. that. Yeah. So he knows. So he knows it's his old truck. Exactly. No. What we are going to do, being professional bubble balls is because there's no cab interior in it apart from that back panel and the roof lining, headlining. So we need to take the headlining out. We need to take the door pillar trims and the seat belts out because I think they are electronically retractable, bangy, pulley, tight seat belts in that one. Mm -hmm. And they're not in this one. Um, and then so to 
improve the anti-rusting uh, evaporating Iveco nest of the Iveco, we're going to cover everything in lots and lots of red paint. Inside, obviously not the glass. Oh. So we need to paint the inside the cab, don't we? Yep. We're going to paint the footwells. We're going to paint the door shuts. Door shuts. We're going to paint under the bonnet so that it's rouge. Yep. Windscreen panel. Yep. Yep. And inner wings. Take these wings off. We paint the inner. I know that no so, one's ever going to see it, but that'll stop but it going extra rouge. Extra protection. Extra protection. It? It's like a night out. What's it? What was the Durex advert? Uh, One more night. Was it something like that, wasn't it? With Phil Collins' song. It was awful. No, I don't remember. Yeah, I've been very good at that type of stuff. Yeah, I've completely gone off on another tangent. Now. You have. Your your mind's your mind's with your um, right now. Yeah, isn't it? it's just in the gutter. <laughs> oh, but I have found me oil filter removing pliers I've been looking for for ages. What are they doing in there? Well, I don't know. It's, you've been working over. It's all your fault. It's not my. I haven't been. Yeah, oh, I your... secretly snaffled them for holding something on. I reckon. What am I going to hold on with that? Well, I don't know. Perhaps a really wide panel. No. Anyway. No. I don't know how they ended up I don't up know. There. I um, don't know. And then basically, all we got to do is paint it. Mm. Well, paint that bit, and then put the doors on, the wings on, yep. and scuff the them up, paint the outside, pick, pick the badges off, mm. make her look proper posh, and then we need to put that bit on that bit. Yep. Then we'd have some workshop back. Yes. And then we've got to take that bit all the stuff out the inside of that bit, like the whole wiring harness, the dash, all the controls, the gear levers, everything. Mm -hmm. Put it in this one. I reckon by three o'clock we'll have it lit, you know. I mean, yeah. it's, half, it's half past nine now. We it's... might even manage it by two. I reckon we'll have the whole thing painted. Yeah. Back on there, the running body back on running with extensions. Yeah. yeah, Simon can have this back tonight. And then all we got to do is beaver tail the chassis once we've got it moving. Because mm -hmm. we need to do some of the complicated measurings to yeah. adjust the hideously, badly, nastily, like a transit-built body to make it properly fit a lorry. Mm -hmm. By cutting the back wedge out of it. But we'll show you all that. We'll show you why it, it needs doing. Yeah, right. Let's crack mm -hmm. on now. We're done by lunch, won't we? Yeah. 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 So there's the last bit. Ooh, a man has to do. You will see I have got this refreshed caliper down here. So we have DCs, sliders, pistons, made everything function properly, and we have got these new <coughs> very heavy brake discs. So they have got to go on here like this, nicely all redone. And then somewhere over the other side there. Oh, that fits beautifully. Look at that. And we have a hub. What have I done with me hub? It's here, isn't it? Uh, there. So we have this redone hub, obviously not painted on here. Um, I have to reattach this to here. Without it all falling off and ruining my fingers. I will give the outside of this hub just a dust once we've done because <coughs> we don't want a clean metal bit poking out through the middle of a wheel that'll look rubbish and obviously what I don't want to do is paint like the wheel mating faces because that'll just make the wheels fall apart and the bridle nuts come loose bolts come loose one of which one is holding whatever on where they will need to be uh, murdered up with a large bar 
probably, because that thing does do a good job of murdering things up once it's all back on its wheels. So, uh, this is said caliper carrier, which is all cleaned up and sprucied. That needs to go back on that. So this is the bit the pads sit in and the actual caliper itself bolts to. So we're just going to huzzah that back on here after finding the correct socket. So the ones that I want. Oh, there we go. Where's my 19 mil socket gone? Right, what I'm going to do now is put this camera on time lapse while I lose everything. Go and track down the last of the gear that I've left somewhere. And then, blah, and it'll all be back together. So, after some skillful forklift operating, we have manoeuvred this here large chassis, which is now all on its wheels, underneath this here, which was the original body. Not built by me, and it has a bit of an issue. So, we've got to redo this just quickly. Ten minutes, obviously. What we're going to do now is, now we've got this positioned here, just go down there, and I'll show you what the problem is. So, you join me under the back of an Iveco body. This is obviously suspended on a large lift, so... It's fine, nice and safe. Chassis. So originally, when this body was designed, if you could call it that, they built it. So if you were building, obviously lorry chassis are a bit different than let's say a Transit or an Iveco or a Mercedes, sorry, three and a half ton of chassis. They don't really flex on a Transit or a Merc little truck. But these big Ivecos and the littler Ivecos are very much built like a lorry so they've got u-section channels so the thing especially on the bigger trucks does this yep which is fine so obviously mounted it can move a bit on its body mounts at the front until someone does this so this works on your transit this sort of u wedge on the back but it no really working on an iv so what this thing was always doing i'm sure i showed it in an earlier video was some it had a very rubbish bolt plate either side on the back here. The body was bolted down and then it was being held by how many bolts? Three either side. So the truck cont continuously doing this, but this big ridiculous frame in the back there has no ability to twist. So all it then did was the chassis twisted against it and it just cheered everything that was mounted at the back here clean off. So we're going to have a bit of a redesign on that. So above my head here, tucked in, you will see two massive chassis sections, new ones, all folded up. So we're going to cut all this junk out. Zunk gone off of here. I'm taking all of this A-frame, whatever you want to call it, and chucking it away. And then... <coughs> going to properly beaver tail the chassis, hence why it hasn't been painted on the back here, um, to match the profile of the beaver tail on the end of this body, and then remake some proper standy mounts to give it an ability to move. That makes any sense. Then reinvent the ramp stays somewhere and sort a proper tow bar device that is joined properly to all of this. Won't take very long. But anyway, before we do that, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go back to cabs. So, bank holiday Monday. What would you do on a bank holiday Monday when pretending quietly not to be here? Apart from prep a cab. So, this needs to go Milano red. 
got a big tub of that. Now it's all, as you know, fixed. Sills done, front changed. Just did some windscreen panels with the swoosh in them. Stripped it out completely, it's masked up. So I've got to go hell for leather now with a DA and some 400. Basically, prep this green and a few other bits ready to chuck. I need to prime the pieces in here that are bare metal cleaned them off as best we can and then also I need to paint the footwells, the door shuts, the cab inside, rouge, so I then can put the wings, I'm going to do all this red too just to doubly protect it and then I can put all the cab doors and the wings on, the door wings are prepped, the bonnet needs prepping, the doors need prepping, I can put them on and then we can shuffle the rest of it red and then it's ready to go back on Simon's big lorry. So then we can adjust the body, put it all back together. So what I'm going to do now is go <laughs> with a sander, scuff all this up. Now remember, this is lorry painting, not Ferrari painting, all right? So um, so lots of the things will just need scotch brighting to give them a key, like the floors and stuff on the inside. It just needs to stick. And then the main, obviously, prep is on the surfaces that the person will see. Here it goes. So I've quickly primed, well I've obviously rubbed it all off where I want to rub it off. I've quickly primed the bare metal bits and the door shut up to about half height because all this is fine. So what I'm going to do now is let this flash off a bit sharpish and then I want to paint that bit, this bit all in through here, the inner floor, most of the inner cab and the door shuts, rouge. So we'll get mixing up some rouge, we'll stick you lads on, guys, girls on time lapse then we'll throw paint at it very quickly because like you could spend hours waiting for the primer to flash off and rub it out but it's a door shut and it's smooth and on a lorry same with the bonnet screen panel you can't even see the screen panel that's me being me but i reckon we'll get there take me air fed mask off my head so you don't hear all the hissing right we are Milano Rouge, ready to go. So I'll put you lot on time lapse and that will be red in seconds. Got your fag rolled. Got your fags rolled. Rolled so in. in the last piece of footage, uh, obviously I was painting the cab red. You were. There would have been all these people going mad. Oh, at the because this, this, this is, is mask. This is this he, is. He didn't bright, paint this red. This is bright and shiny in the background, but it was actually the the, the, the factory silver colour that they gave for it this. Was the wrong, it the, was the wrong. It was the wrong colour. That's why it didn't matter if this got covered in overspray because we had to rub it all off this morning. Exactly. And, and, and this is but now, now that is the correct colour. It's done. So what we're going to do is still tacky. Yeah, don't yeah yeah. yeah no, I'm not going to touch that before. Just, just the just the, the tape. So that what we're, what we're going to do now morning. is we're going to sign off now, and then all these poor people are going to have to wait to see my beautifully. They're going to have to come back, aren't they? Well, my red and shiny cabs out there. Yeah, you can't you're see, not seeing you're that. You're not seeing yet. that quite yet. You're going to no, come back next time no. for that. So, um, but that is the right colour. So don't shout at me for painting next to an open panel that looked all shiny. It was the wrong colour, and it now is the right colour. Two goes at that. That ain't never going to rust. No, it is. <laughs> yes, of course. There's it's, lots of paint on there. It's, it's, There's lots of paint on there. It's going to be going down the road. Yes, like back to yeah, the yeah, that's, that's fine, to be honest. The, 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 we did paint the factory paint coat colour that it said it was, but the Japanese off road works people had They paint. changed the colour, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. So. Anyway, thank you very much, Al, Fudge, 60 Diesels. Yeah.